Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Boss, and Loki Season 2's new breakout character is Ouroboros, aka OB, played by Ki Hui Kwan, the one-man crew of the Repairs and Advancement Department of the Time Variance Authority, but in a TVA that we're now learning has had several past memory wipes and resets among its workforce, why do Mobius and the others have no memory of meeting OB, but OB remembers all of them? Why was he exempt from all the memory wipes? I'm gonna explain why OB is simultaneously the most important employee of the TVA, but also also the one hidden from the others. Why OB is really the OG. In fact, that might be why Mobius had that nickname for him. So season two, episode one is actually titled Ouroboros, which is appropriate because the term comes from the mythological figure of a snake eating its own tail. And structurally, this episode is exactly that. Loki in a future time period, trying to extract himself from time to cure his time slippage and miraculously managing to circle back home upon himself, but only after being pruned by some mystery figure. And I didn't want to point this out, but it's going around enough and it is visible plainly in episode one, but skip to this time if you don't want to know who might have pruned Loki until this season reveals it. If you look behind Loki in that future version of the TVA, in the shadows of the hallway behind him, you do see a figure that I thought might be Renslayer, but no, if you do brighten it up, it does look like a version of Loki that we've seen in trailers starting to wear that TVA jacket. It looks like a future version of Loki is pruning his past self to close the loop. But despite the structural logic of calling this episode Ouroboros, the titular character is not revealed until 21 minutes in, which I should point out is the exact midpoint of the episode's 42 minute runtime, minus credits. Mobius in this episode is bewildered to learn that there was ever a past era of the TVA, believing that time passes differently in the TVA, but clearly not understanding that there was some era before the understanding that the timekeepers were in charge. On the way down to visit the RNA department of the TVA, Mobius says, I have no memory of having my memory wiped. I love it. It's such a good joke. But then they enter the RNA department and Mobius says, it's been a while since I've been down here. Actually, I'm not sure I've ever been down here. This, to me, was such an odd line because Moby seemed to have the muscle memory to know where to take Loki to get his time slipping checked out, but upon entering this room, suddenly realized he didn't actually know where he was. Like, subconsciously, his body must have known where to take him, even if he consciously didn't remember where or why. I mean, hey, people of a certain age can probably relate to this feeling, and this is a common workplace behavior among drones who've just worked at the same place for several years of their lives. The series Severance explores this in a really fun way. You're just kind of walking down a hallway and you don't really realize why you're walking down it until you're already there. But this gets further explored as Mobius fails to remember OB, but OB remembers him. Wow, great to see you again. How long has it been? Could it be three or four? 400 years. Remember you got off on the wrong floor and I told you it was the wrong floor? Wait, that's right. Yes, because then I stayed for a little bit. He took me no, over. No, he left immediately. And Obi even attributes his nickname of OB to Mobius coming up with it. But he calls me Obi. Uh, yeah. So again, if the memories of all TVA employees were wiped to make them forget about the previous era when he remains ruled openly, which sounds like would have included an instance between Mobius and OB 400 years prior, a very, very brief exchange that would have included Mobius making a joke about shortening Ouroboros to OB, why was OB left out of that memory wipe so that he remembers Mobius? Well, in general, OB does seem to be the forgotten member of the TVA workforce, you could say. Perhaps he remains just forgot he was down there. Like his office is down a series of elevators and a part of the TVA rarely visited. He gets zero visitors. I pointed out how even the final elevator to his office has several pneumatic tubes right there so that people don't even have to take those final steps to send their work orders to him. I compared him to Milton from Office Space after Lumberg relocates him to the basement and Inatech forgot that they had fired him. But more than that, I think Obi is something closer to Ollivander, the wand maker from Harry Potter, or the Half-Blood Prince, Potions textbook scribbler, an overlooked but critically important artisan who propels everything forward. Not the OB, the OG. New Rockstar viewers have been hearing me mention Raycon for years, the wireless earbuds that start at half the price of other premium audio brands, but this is definitely the first time you've heard me say this. Happy birthday, Raycon! You're turning six! To celebrate their birthday, Raycon is offering 20 to 40% off across their entire site. So Raycon earbuds come in a range of colors, patterns, and options for fit, none of which have dangling wires or stems that can get caught on stuff. Raycon's everyday earbuds are known for delivering high quality audio and thoughtful features like a 32 hour battery life and a perfect in-ear fit for all day wear and lasting comfort. I wear them whenever I'm out of the house and if it weren't for being able to hear my audiobook perfectly no matter 
how much street noise there is, I wouldn't even notice I had them in. They're super comfortable and I'm not the only one who thinks so. Raycon's already racked up 78,000 five-star reviews. You can control your earbuds with simple tap functions, so it's easy to toggle between three customizable sound profiles, noise isolation, and awareness mode. And if you already have a pair of Raycon earbuds that you love, there's more to check out. This past year, Raycon expanded with the introduction of Raycon Home and Raycon PowerTech. There's a lot to celebrate. Celebrate Raycon turning six with their biggest sale of the year going on now. Hurry now to buyraycon.com slash new rockstars and use code birthday to get 20 to 40% off site-wide. And thanks again to Raycon for sponsoring this and making something great. Because the first episode also establishes that it was OB who wrote the TVA guidebook. And it's one on every desk at the TVA. It's a detailed index of every mechanical classification and maintenance routine in each sector, on each device, and inside every computer program at the TVA. I wrote it myself. Now, from a purely functional standpoint, he remains may have just left OB with his memory intact because he needed at least one TVA employee who knew how everything works just to keep everything well-oiled and chugging along. Like, OB does indicate that he shared some responsibilities with Ms. Minutes. You don't get down here too much, I guess. I never had to. Ms. Minutes took care of everything. I just ran diagnostics every few hundred years. It seems like he remains as automated as much of the TVA as he could with Ms. Minutes, but needs one human worker, i.e. one with a soul or a temporal aura, no offense, Ms. Minutes, some worker on on the ground to check up on everything. Now that Miss Minutes is offline and Sylvie broke the sacred timeline, the temporal loom became overwhelmed. But it also tells you that He Remains must have kept OB there for some other reason. Because if it was just to keep everything chugging along, they wouldn't need Miss Minutes or anything else to fix that loom. OB says that he wrote the TVA guidebook. And a quick flash of it in the closing credits proves that the name Ouroboros is actually printed on the cover of the book. This is a big deal. OB said that these are on every desk of the TVA. This guidebook, you could say, are like the sacred Jedi texts of the TVA. They're the Bible. And He Remains is allowing someone else to retain visible authorship of that Bible. Like this TVA has been carefully designed to appear tightly controlled by the timekeepers in Miss Minutes. Their authorship is on everything. It's a pretty big deal for He Remains to allow some other employee to retain visible authorship on anything this important. Because people would start asking around, well, who's this Ouroboros guy? And why are we worshiping the timekeepers and not him? Like think about how pissed off Eduardo Saverin was when Mark Zuckerberg and Sean Parker removed his name from the Facebook masthead. My name's on the masthead. You might want to check again. Now, I am aware the social network is a fictionalized version of what actually went down on Facebook, but I should to believe this conversation was word for word transcript because it's awesome. For he remains to allow any other worker at the TVA original authorship over something he and Miss Minutes put so much work into telling all TVA workers was actually the brainchild of some timekeepers suggests that he remains must respect and or fear Ouroboros. Now, I won't go as far to say OB is a villain. I don't think it's as simple as him just being the big bad. Like, Kiwi Kwan is not the guy you would cast for that. I think he's more of a chaotic, neutral, tenured employee at the agency. And I think what happened was in that brief conversation between Mobius and OB, Mobius was actually doing a bit of jokey wordplay that he was actually the OG. And he said something like, well, since you're the OG, you should really be OB. And that OB is the true he who remains of the TVA, someone that Kang variant version of He Remains knows that he cannot do this without. Now, I would actually sooner call OB a god or a cosmic entity based on his descent from the heavens and the shot he was revealed in, maybe even some human avatar of Eon, the Marvel time deity whose statue we saw in Thor Love and Thunder. Ouroboros is the snake eating its own tail, a flat circle, a mythological concept that is linked, if any beliefs, with Jormungandr, the snake from Norse mythology that circles the earth and eats its own tail. Either way, OB, with a name like Ouroboros, truly has no beginning and no end. So why does OB remember Mobius, but no one remembers OB? Because either the Kang variant of He Who Remains doesn't want to wipe his memory, or He Who Remains is physically unable to wipe his memory, because OB is on a higher tier of power than he is. Now, I don't know if this season of Loki will go as far to assign OB any proper noun identities from the pages of Marvel Comics, because yeah, I've been mephisto before and I've learned my lesson. But I do think we're going to learn that OB is a kind of unkillable, incorruptible, forever person, an angel, you might say, immune to He Who Remains' wrath or his charm and as long as there is an OB, there will be a Time Variance Authority. Hey, it's Loki season here at New Rockstars with our in-depth Easter egg breakdowns coming every week after episodes drop and on Sundays, a new sneak peek format. Follow me at EA Voss. Thanks for watching and bye y'all.